Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on the Night Bus, first version from 2004. So on the front of the little instruction booklet, see Lego logo, Harry Potter logo, picture of the Night Bus coming mysteriously right in, and also set numbers 4755 and the blue border that, or the annoying blue border that carried on for all of 2003 and 4, at least except for on all LEGO City sets, of course. And then updated version of Younger Harry, of course. Yeah. And on the back, some little promotional poster with the Marauders map, of course. And then win on the online survey, and little alternate build. And then most of the Prisoner of Azkaban sets from the time. And then another alternate build and how the features of it, and kind of odd how it's in blue, of course. But of course, fitting to the blue border for, and yeah. And then the last building steps. First off is the mini fit for the two mini figs you get. So for mini things of which we get another yet another version of younger Harry with and of course face print of which same as from the uh, Sorcerer's Stone Prisoner of Azkaban or I mean Chamber of Secrets lines but on regular skin color uh, since of course this time is when they went over to skin color and also so the same with the hands and his torso print of which we, I, which I think might be exclusive to this set but kind of similar to as was in a couple other sets, obviously. And also has the bar piece where the wand and also trans yellow cone on it. Just like in the Mirage map set, but it's, but it's not being used for anything. But probably to represent his expected Patrodum spell, of course. And for the other fig on, the, on your right, or your left, of course is, of course, one of the only versions of Stan Shunpike, which I think is not in the eye, in the printing of the eyes, which kind of unique for the time, and, and of course, like a lot of older figs, have hair printed with the face prints, which, at least until they fix that with other versions, and of course, you get classic cop hat or police hat in purple, and the torso print done quite well, but not at all any like prints of which. And if you look from the back, no double side faces nor back torso printing since, of course, they're older figs, obviously. And kind of odd how that. It's just these two, and okay, and also what the 2011 version did was in also included Ernie Prang. And same with the 2019 version. Well. Not sure why this version didn't have that, but whatever. And also, as for like little side bits, you get just the regular, regular lamp post, which we see a lot of times in Lego City and all, and also the little odd bush piece, also kind of quite common. And also the gray classic dog piece with the molded in eyes, of course. And then lastly is this little uh, treasure chest used as Harry's traveling trunk, of course. And of course, White Owl used as Hedwig, of course. And if you look and open it up, and there's the little wrapped up satchel on a 2 by or 1 by 2 plate. Like we see in the 2000 Gunkin Patrol in Star Wars, of course. And 
right, so now on to the main field, the night bus itself. Always quite good, quite nice it is for the time. And especially for the colors of which mainly purple and black, just like we see with the other versions. They've done quite well, like since of course bricks stacked on bricks like we see similar to other versions of it. And also, unlike with the 2019 version, which had the swing out kind of feature, but instead is actually, and also same with the 2011 version, in which it has a modulability factor, but with all three floors rather than just the top floor and the roof. So for this first level, main level, Which, as you see, does have the usual front piece like you'd see on any Model T set or old time car set that there is, and also the common windshield piece, of which with with a, a printed version of a shrunken head, which, and of course, in the other two versions, did an actual version of that, which I am glad about. And of course, do you get both steering wheel and a grayish chair to seat your Stan Shunt Pike? Big. Well, it doesn't make much sense of why Stan Shunt Pike would be sitting there for when he, of course, is the ticket man of the night bus. Because, but whatever. And of course, also do have a lot of. Or mostly large tiles and a few studs to put the others on. And of course, you get a plate and also a jagged slope with a pillow on it, represented as a bed, and does swing back and forth or switch back and forth. And the back part of which, which doesn't have the like riding pole like it does in the movie, but it does have the car door piece that swings in and out, of course. And now on to it, the, uh, which, oh, probably middle section, which is quite similar, but, and of course has this printed tile that, or sticker tile, yeah, that says Night Bus on it. And of course, interior just about the same as the rest of it. Oh, also I forgot to mention the beds of which are on the moved, uh, or rounded underneath plates, of course. Then, of course, get a whole lot of these window pieces, of course. And the last of which is the top section, which is sort of the same, but just, of course, just one brick less, of course. And of course the rooftop part, and with those uh, curved pieces in purple, and on the back of which is also says night bus on it. And, or, and they all do fit snugly on top of each other. You can see built quite well, and. It does roll really well and kind of fastish. And since, of course, and since, of course, fast in the movie, obviously. And so now let me get these all on. Final verdict is that. So final verdict. I think this which is a pre pretty good set for the time. Like, and of course, although purple at the time not very common of which, but this is which great way to get a whole bunch of purple at once. So same with the 2011 and 2019 versions of which where 
they provided a whole lot of purple as a good parts pack for that. And it's kind of odd how it didn't have an actual piece of the shrunken head and also not included Ernie Prang, but at least the other versions fix that. I can forgive this one, although what I think if they did yet another version of this or anything, would have been nice if it also included a Aunt Marge all inflated and floating away, of course. Although that would have been nice, but whatever. Maybe that's more for a CMF series, huh, whatever. And also, kind of odd how it had all the little, like, accessories that are along the side, which the other versions didn't. Although I think could have been, like, just a street side, uh, represented as Privet Drive, of course. Yeah. And, so, and for those of you who still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.